That's a nice home. Uh. Wow! Prince has very keen senses. It didn't take much to scare him off. See if you can approach him crouching from behind. That way your footsteps will be quieter. It must be difficult not being able to float. If you're anxious to find Prince, why not coax him to you with some fish? Kitty cats do love eating fish. If you run out of fish, go grab some from the lake. Now back to it. Take your pick. You'll find no second-rate items. <laughs> you go running off to? Oh, thank goodness you're safe. We definitely had our work cut out for us looking for him. Oh, Princey, how could you leave me like that? Looks like those two need some time to themselves. And here are your astral iron strings, Venti. You found them! <laughs> Wonderful! I was not optimistic they would turn up. I dare say that a private performance played using these very same strings would not be an excessive way to show my gratitude. <laughs> uh, 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 what? Uh, <coughs> <coughs> Apologies. At this distance, my cat allergy seems to be rearing its head. Oh, now Paimon gets why you didn't go looking for your strings by yourself? <laughs> Anyway, thanks for the help. I'll be going now. Uh, uh, uh. Lisa, are you here about the tax return? Oh, hello, darling. You're quite right. After I heard about poor Jean, I thought I might lend a hand with some of her more literary duties. Cool! Well, if we're no longer needed here, we'll be on our way. Wait a moment. Actually, Charles here was wondering... Please, allow me, ma'am. I just took a rather important order, but unfortunately we've run completely dry and the delivery from the winery is behind schedule. If it's not too much trouble, could you go and do something about this logistical nuisance? What's so urgent about this order? <sighs> it came in at the last minute. Literally just a few seconds ago. Exactly. Hence the urgency. disappeared too. Have you come to rescue me? I've been waiting long enough. And all the time I've been working at the winery, this is the first time I've been robbed by hilly churls. <sighs> if you'd taken any longer, I don't know what I would have done. Fear not! 
My friend here is a hilly trail exterminator extraordinaire! Just as well. Then please escort this transporter to the end of the road. And be careful with it. Just beating up the hilly churls is not the aim here. You'd better make sure the goods stay intact because I certainly don't have the mora to replace them. I'll be waiting up ahead. They're all gonna rot if I don't deal with them in time. Thank you, my friend. I thought I was in deep trouble this time. It's a good thing you showed up. I'll put in a good word for you with the gentleman at the winery. Ah, I think we're finally finished with the commissions we were doing for Jean. A day in the life of Jean really is hard work. Wonder how she's feeling now. Let's head to the cathedral and pay her a visit.
Hi, Barbara. We're back. Welcome back. You must be exhausted. Jean has regained consciousness and should be back to her normal self soon enough. That's great news! Let's go and see her! But she just left the cathedral. I tried to tell her she needs more rest, but she wouldn't listen. She tried to act like she was fine and kept saying she wanted to get some fresh air. I bet you she's gone to Lady Vanessa's place again. Where? Oh, that huge tree at Windrise? That place is dedicated to Mondstadt's hero, Vanessa. Jean goes there whenever she feels lost and confused deep down inside. Barbara, that's some pretty personal stuff. How do you know so much about Jean's innermost thoughts? Jean, uh, mentioned it to me, you know, before she left. That's what I'm worried about, too. But I still have work to do here. Don't worry, we'll take over nursing duty for now. Great. That puts my mind at rest. May the Animal Archon protect you. And Jean. Vanessa, I hope your watch over Mondstadt remains unclouded. I do not know if I, or the rest of the world, as you had hoped for, have become stronger. Huh? better. I was not expecting you to come here. Thank you for your concern. Are you sure? We saw you beneath the tree just now, leaning on your sword. It looked like you were struggling. Are you sure you aren't pushing yourself too hard? Oh, thank you. That means a lot to me. Hearing that boosts my spirits. But I must find a way to cope with minor setbacks like this on my own. Otherwise... How can I be the protector that Mondstadt needs me to be? The protector that Vanessa was. You truly revere Vanessa, huh? I do. Vanessa was the first Grandmaster, a kind yet formidable woman. I have always hoped to follow in her footsteps. As the Lion Fang Knight, she courageously overthrew the oppressive ruling aristocracy of her time. Then, she founded the Knights of Favonius and became known as the Dandelion Knight, spreading grace and compassion throughout the land. Dandelion Knight? Isn't that your title? Hmm. Actually, all of the Knights of Favonius Masters throughout the ages have inherited the title of Dandelion Knight or Lion Fang Knight. Oh, that makes sense now. You too want to be as gentle as the Dandelion Knight, and yet as fierce as the Lion Fang Knight. Yes, I know it sounds like a huge honor inheriting both these titles from Vanessa, but I see it more as a huge responsibility. After all, it is a lot to live up to. Paimon thinks so too. Huh? Jean? Who's there? <laughs> Caught red-handed. Finally, an opportunity comes to get rid of the master in a moment of weakness. And then you two show up and ruin everything. How did they know about Jean's condition? Choosing this moment to strike is a low blow, even for this lot. As long as my name is the Dandelion Knight, I swear I shall not be defeated by such despicable means. <clears throat> Since this opportunity has slipped away, I shall now be slipped. Stop! <coughs> After him! <coughs> Jean, you're still recovering. No, I must go after him. Jean, you can't keep doing this to yourself. Why can't you trust us to handle it? Uh, I do trust you, but to let an enemy get away like this would be a major dereliction of duty. 
Fine, but at least let us go with you. Uh, thank you for your understanding. I will graciously accept your help. <laughs> <laughs>